What's going on, guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looked like Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes is to talk a discussion. A lot of people in the media backtracking what they had to say a few days ago. And former Colorado Buffaloes quarterback Joel Klatt is setting the nation on fire. Guys, for this one here, y'all already know we got to go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> want to have some get back at the haters bro now is the perfect time for that get back moment because we know a lot of people in the media was talking big trash about coach prime and the colorado buffaloes pretty much this whole off season now they got a bye week they put the beats on ucf and now everybody has to talk about Coach Prime and the bus for the next two weeks, bro. And I know they big boy mad about it. Dog, I'm here to tell you, what we've seen display this weekend was incredible. But this is just the beginning. Once we knock off Kansas State, it is a wrap. Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes is going to be talked about nearly every week. And you know the big hype train everybody was complaining about last year? It's going to be quadruple the size, bro, once they knock off Kansas. This is going to be something college football has never seen before. If they thought the first phase was something, this next phase of Coach Prime coming in, dropping college football on his head, this is going to be on a whole nother level. Now, coming into this season, we all should have knew the Jackson State formula. Coach Prime put the JSU formula in full effect when he rebuilt this team. This was the season of expectations, and expectations is what we've been getting, bruh. I just got to keep it real. Now, moving on to the top story, Kansas State coach, speaking about Shador Sanders, because he know he the real deal, and the homeboy Joe Clatt. But all that being said, let's check out what Kansas State coach had to say. Roll the footage. Um. But uh, obviously watched him a, a couple of games. Um, great players um, that um, I think Shadur Sanders is one of the best quarterbacks in the country without a, without a doubt. Um, and uh, um, they have a bunch of wideouts. Everybody talks about Hunter, and Hunter is a every type. He might be the top pick in the draft um, because I'm just shocked. I'm, I'm amazed, not shocked. I'm amazed that kid plays every snap of defense and every snap of offense. That that's it, that's so impressive um, for what uh, he's able to do. And then they they have so many receivers that can beat you. So um, for us, we got to come up with a really good plan on defense, and, and we're just starting that now. But um, we got to come up with a great plan to have have a chance to try to at least control them a little bit. I'm to tell you, Doc, reality is setting in on the Big 12 and college football. That was a sign of a man in desperation. That was a sign of, oh, my God, this might be the best wide receiver core in the country. Now, y'all remember the video your boy John Liquidator did a couple months ago letting y'all know this was the number one receiver core in the country? Now, don't y'all believe me, bro? Coach Brown and the bus got the best receivers on the planet. Don't act brand new now. Y'all better keep that same energy y'all had all, all season, bro. It's about to get real. Let's pull up Joe Clatt. Right now, bro. Peter, Saturday was awful for you. Awful. And it's not just because Colorado won. It's the way in which they won. It was the fact that they were more fundamentally sound, that they had better effort, that they were more physical, that they were better coached in the special teams. It was an all-out victory for Colorado, which all of a sudden makes them a threat in the Big 12. And every hater of Deion Sanders, that is their worst nightmare for Deion to actually put a product on the field that is not just flash, but legitimate. Because what Saturday was for Colorado was legitimate. It's not just the watches and the clicks and all the stuff and all the marketing. They're brilliant at that, yes, but Saturday was real. As I just told you with Alabama and Georgia, when teams have high highs and low lows, anything is possible. And what Saturday did for Colorado was raise their ceiling.
Colorado's ceiling is much higher now than it was before they played UCF. They still have Travis Hunter and Shador Sanders. Those guys performed as you would expect them to perform. Travis Hunter, 128 snaps, wild. Nine catches for 89 yards, so his, his streak of five straight games with 100 yards receiving actually ends, but he still has 89 yards and a touchdown and then had a ridiculous interception on defense. Like, like, and, and Brock and Kevin Kugler, who called the game on Fox, they were talking about the Heisman Trophy and how many losses or too many losses. Well, here's the thing that I thought got lost in that conversation just a little bit is that if Colorado played like that, they could beat anybody else on their schedule. Now, I'm not suggesting that they will play to their ceiling in every single week. I, I, I don't believe that they will play to their ceiling every single week. Why? Nobody in college football does. It is so rare. It is so rare. So all that Colorado did is raise their ceiling. I think that we can now increase our potential expectations of what Colorado is in the Big 12. Shadour was excellent, 80%, 290 yards, three touchdowns. He made the one early mistake, and they bounced right back. It was the... It was the complete effort that everybody has been just kind of like dying for. That's a Colorado. Now, that was Joe Clack pretty much letting it be known, bro. Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes just put everybody on notice. That's what we've been saying this whole time, bro. And it's just crazy for everything to be coming to light now. And everybody want to act all surprised about it. Like, damn, we ain't know coach really was going to do what he did or bring all this attention back to college football or this football team was legit going to be a problem for the 2024 season when we kept telling y'all they was going to be a problem. Coach Prime got the best coaching staff. Damn near everybody on the coaching staff is from the NFL, bro. This is going to get worse for opposing teams the more we go through this season, dog. I'm just the messenger. I'm just here to tell y'all what's about to go down. This thing is about to explode, bro. Coach Prime them is getting major batteries in their backs. He's feeding this football team full of positive energy. They is about to wreak havoc on every damn team that is on this schedule until they make it to the college football playoffs. You can almost guarantee it. Now, we got one more segment to show, and that is – the cartoon man himself, Paul Fonbon, bro. Yes. Speaking about Coach Prime and the Buffs today on First Take, roll the footage. Hi, Paul. Um, just go ahead, Paul. Well, first of all, uh, Stephen A., you're, you're close to being right. And uh, this is where I say to you, I, I should have kept my mouth shut a couple weeks ago. But I, I came after you. I came after Prime. And here I am scraping the egg off of my face. And I'm glad to be doing it because this is a fascinating story. And what happened last week uh, down in Florida was really the first time, I think, since Prime has been at Colorado that this looked like a legitimate football team. And they, beat, they didn't beat a great team, uh, but they beat a good team, uh, coached by Gus Malzahn, who's played for the national championship. So uh, if they can continue on this path, now, I'm, not, I'm not issuing qualifiers, I'm just saying if, then Stephen A., I think your story about Coach of the Year is dead on. That was Stephen A. Smith and Paul Feinbein on first take today. But as you guys heard, Stephen A. Smith actually said Coach Prime was going to be Coach of the Year. There's no question about it. They're one win away from doing better than they was last year. As of right now, Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes is the hottest thing in sports, and I cannot be more happier for that football team and the good people of Boulder they deserve it. This has been a long year and a half dealing with a roller coaster ride. And I'm finally happy everything is coming together like good cooked food on a Sunday, baby. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you want to know why? Because I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, bro, shake the haters off. I'm out of here, baby. Peace out. Shake the haters.